show you. Let me show you inside. Ooh, it's beautiful. <laughs> like all these Puerto Ricans and Mexican one spot people thought there was a landscape convention out here. What's crack a lackin' everybody? Your money smart guy, Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Lake Tahoe. We are here at this beautiful spot at this $25 million lodge here, and we're here with 50 of our best friends in business with PHP Agency called the Million Point Bay Shop Retreat. And uh, I just wanna make sure, I, you know, we got the lights reflecting here, so I wanna make sure I have the proper, uh, proper protection here. Look at you guys. We're gonna be using this later for snowboarding. Before I get into it, man, let's talk, let's, let's look around this, this, this property. Okay, this is, uh, say hi, Marlene. Hi, uh, Marlene Guy Facebook Tana. Live. You guys gotta come next time, Million Point Bay Shop. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah. We got the Devil Dog right here, Joe Molina, veteran entrepreneur right here, doing some big things. Very proud. What unit were you with in the Marine Corps? I was with uh, First Medical Battalion, right off of uh, Camp Pendleton, California. Nice man. Where did you deploy to? I deployed to Iraq uh, twice. So back in 2004, uh, Ramadi, and then back in 2006. Hey, and now so. you're here as an entrepreneur, man. That's right. Very proud. Thank By you, the way, pal palatial view, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that, crazy. So we were smoking cigars here last night. This is a fire pit right here. This is one of my business partners here, co-owner of PHP Agency. This is Rudy Ortiz. What's up, FB? Rudy, uh, we went to Puerto Vallarta, our, per, our first Million Point Bay Shop retreat. Yep. He's wearing the, the shirt for we, we went to it last the second year. second one. Is Ohika, Ohika Castle. Castle. Uh, second largest private residence in America, where the Great Gatsby was inspired, right? Yeah, 32 bedrooms, like 20 bathrooms. It's sick. In a third retreat, here we are. $25 million house. It's a phenomenal place, <laughs> and this place is drop dead gorgeous. Beautiful. beautiful right? Beautiful. Say, bro. I'm glad you're here, man. Okay, let's take a look inside. Here we go. Oh, boom. We're about to get, that's our PowerPoints up here, ready to get started. Oh, yeah. What's happening? What's, that? What's uh, happening, everybody? Come time I got. How are you doing? Come on, somebody. Hey. hey five, we got four minutes. I got, he's giving me a countdown. Four minutes. Four minutes, guys. He's got to get off in four minutes. Yes. Bianca, say hi, Bianca. Hey, what's up, guys? Newest marketing director promoted in our Jacksonville office. That's right. Single mom, making it happen. Awesome. Very proud of you. Thank you. This is a million point base shop retreat, and one of the biggest things we're talking about is setting goals. So let me give you some value before my four minutes is up. Listen, our goal is to help people run million dollar businesses in 2018. And uh, 2015, we weren't running it yet, but uh, 2016, we did. 2017, we have. These are some three areas of how to set goals to help you in 2018. So therefore, they're more attainable, they're more reachable. This is not something you put on a piece of paper and you hope to get there. Number one, they are selfish goals. What's your selfish goal? I want a car, I want new clothes. What, whatever that new selfish goal is, I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna go on this trip, okay? Number one, selfish goal. Second one, stability goal. What will make me feel financially stable? What will make me feel financially secure? What will help the people that I love and care about be secure around me? And third one is an emotional goal. Uh, what type of contribution do you wanna make in your community? Um, how would it make you feel good if you do this? Whatever that is, three goals. We call three by three. Number one, a stability goal. Number two, a selfish goal. And number three, an emotional goal. Write those down. What will make me feel great to accomplish in 2018? And then let's be, the other side of that is number one is specific. How specific are these actual goals? Like if you want a new car, I need to know the model, the, the color, the, the price. That's the second thing, which is it's the cost. And the third thing is this is the deadline. You gotta have a deadline. So listen, we, we had some goals in 2017. We were very specific with them. We knew the cost, the amount of time and money invested. We had a specific deadline when to reach those goals. And we've been doing that since 2015. And because we've kept doing that year after year, and now this is going on in our third year, we've won from $208,000 in income. Last year we made $646,000, and this year we'll finish, finish off at a million dollar year income. And that's why we're teaching a room full of our friends in business Please share this video, please like our page, and let me know what your goals are. Let me know what type of specific goals you have, what type of selfish goals you have, what type of stability goals you have, what type of emotional goals you have, and then be very specific with it. Need to know the cost of it and have a deadline. So stay posted, we got some more coming at you. Maybe we do some activities, maybe do some snowboarding, maybe we uh, hang out at the pool here inside the lodge, but listen everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our Money Smart Guy uh, Facebook page. Look at that, look at that view there. That's crazy. That's a real view. That being said, guys, till then. I just got called out, man. <laughs> Peace out. Oh my goodness, how high you, how you go up. It's steep. It's steep.